Good morning, everybody. As of June 2010, artists are entitled to 5% of the price of their works resold in Australia for more than $1,000. We currently have over 1,500 artists and their beneficiaries registered for the scheme. And to date, the scheme has generated over half a million dollars in royalty payments for 350 artists. And 67% of all of these payments go back to the Indigenous community. What's been happening at Copyright Agency recently in the visual arts? We've recently implemented the Art Like competition, which is an opportunity to promote your artwork via our Resale Royalty Facebook page, and the artists are invited to submit images for posting to the page for a period of two months, and at the conclusion of that period, the image with the highest number of likes is judged to be the winner, and the artists and artwork are profiled in our quarterly magazine calendar, which goes out to over 9,000 of our members. We've also been doing Copy Connect events, which are about sharing information and updates while also giving members the opportunity to meet up with other creators in their city. We recently held our first Copy Connect event focusing on visual artists and used the opportunity to show works by Phil James, a recent Creative, creative Industries Fund recipient, and Jeffrey Samuels, a founding member of Bumali Aboriginal Artists Corporation, who have also recently received a Cultural Fund grant. We'll be doing more of these around the country, so please come along when you see the invitations. We also participate in a number of seminars and events, Last year we presented at 2011 Supernova Pop, a convention for illustrators and graphic novelists in Brisbane and Melbourne. We supported the Stanley Awards and presented a session at the conference for the, Car the Cartoonists Association of Australia. We presented at Newcastle's This Is Not Art Festival and also Cockatoo Island's Outpost Festival. In addition to this, we've also presented at the AGMs of both Desart and Anchor, who are the representative bodies of the Indigenous of Indigenous artists and art centres in the Northern Territory. As Rosanna mentioned earlier, the Cultural Fund supports a wide variety of projects which aim to encourage and provide pr practical assistance to copyright agency members and the Australian community. Significant visual arts projects that we've funded recently have been 4A Centre for Contemporary Asian Art, who will use funding to run intensive workshops for emerging curators, Artlink Australia, whose funding will be used to translate the 2012 Indigenous Artlink issue into Chinese and launched at three separate events this year. We're working with the Caldor Public Arts Project and they'll use their funding for InTouch Contemporary Art in Primary School Project. Through this, they'll develop unique software models for interactive whiteboards to introduce more children to contemporary art in Australia, working with teachers in our primary schools. And the National Association for the Visual Arts, with the support of the Cultural Fund, will be developing and delivering distance education packages for online courses for visual artists, craftspeople and designers to assist in building their careers. As also pre previously mentioned, the Creative Industries Career Fund is part of the Cultural Fund, where applicants can apply for grants of up to $5,000 to undertake training, travel, or other activities that will enhance their careers. Projects for artists that was, was supported through 2011 have included Giles Ryder, who undertook a residency at the National Arts Studio in Korea, and research tour in Thailand as part of the Asia Pacific Arts Fellowship. In both countries, Giles' work was fo focused on specialist light work. Emma Lindsay participated in the Hill End Artists in Residence program at Bathurst Regional Art Gallery, Murray's Cottage. And Maurice O'Ryden, the editor of Art Monthly, used funds to attend the VS ben Venice Biennale and Istanbul Biennale. As with Rosanna, I'll be available after the session, so please feel free to come and talk to me if you have any questions about the agency, resale royalty, um, or the visual arts in general. And I'd now like to pass you over to Rosie Daniele, our member claims manager.